Well, I'm back, and uh, they let me out of jail early, thankfully. Uh, the case was weak, and it's overcrowding, so here I am. I got battle cards to open. Uh, this, this one's already kind of open. This came out in 1993, and uh, it was on the shelf with Magic the Gathering. And uh, can you believe someone <laughs> buying this instead of uh, this t now $20 box instead of a box that's several, several thousand dollars of uh, Magic Al the Alpha um, set. So yeah, uh, isn't that crazy? So anyways, these are very cheap. Like I said, they're $20 a box. And um, it's a weird game. It's a scratch-off game. And let's take a look at it. It's a dead... Well, I don't know. I think it was only one set. I'm only going to open a few. Uh, well, let's, let's look at the pack. Fight the battle. Solve the quest. Win the treasures. Collect all 139 scratch and slay. It says stay, slay. I can't read. Game cards. So I think you're supposed to um, send in some cards for... for what well, You're supposed to collect points and you could send them in. And... Uh, but that is way old now. Steve Jackson, I believe, set up or helped set up Games Workshop in England. If you're familiar with that. Um, this is uh, produced by Merlin in the U.S. Let's see what the cards look like. I like dead card games, and this is uh, pretty dead. Oh, good. I was hoping they weren't going to stick. i seen some people open some that stick. So this is Magic Shield. This is a... You see how it has the scratch-offs? Now, let's see. So if you want to read that, this is how you use that card. So you're, you basically pick your character, which we're going to come up with to a character card. Advanced Combat. This is a... Oh, how to defend your body and arms. Okay, it's going to make sense in a little bit. This is a character card. You, what the hell, Scoon Squeen? You pick your character, and hopefully this is another character, yeah. Versus, oh my god, what is this? Versus someone's Van Vincent? Okay, so it's like like my guy versus this guy. We take turns, we're going to attack the, I don't know if you guys could read it, because I could barely read it. Head, head, arm, arm, arm. So you're picking a part of the body, scratch it. If there's nothing, next person goes and attacks mine. And then, but if they reveal a red drop, they go again. And if they reveal another red drop, I think they could take off a life point. You got three. If you reveal a, if, if your opponent scratches your card and reveals a nothing, you're still alive. Uh, if he reveals a red skull, card's dead and he keeps this. He scratches the purse because everybody has purses. He has a purse. See that purse? And you get points. And I think at the end you could submit them to the Merlin company. And they'll give you like variants. Like silver variants, gold variants. But I mean you win the battle. Uh, so it's kind of RPG-ish. Um, I could see why this didn't compete with Magic. Uh, you could, It's probably fun for like a couple seconds and then it's like okay i'm tired of uh scratching cards and yeah trading post look at this guy i wear that sometimes a hat like that like and subscribe if you wear hats like that torn weather storm this is gonna have like a fantasy theme to it inquisitor i don't know what's going on in that card you got like robots, dinosaurs, dragons, uh, <laughs> King Kong, what? Fangoria, a map. The Sea of No Return on there, okay. Advanced Combat, I think this is to protect, what, I got this guy again? Uh, uh, and this just shows, it's a way of, I think, uh, given defending your parts of your body. So I think I think you could uh, reveal that and um, kind of like protect yourself, protect, and your opponent has to have his. So it's a little way of I guess staying in the game by not not having all your parts uh, hacked off. 
These are like cellophane kind of packs. Look at this guy. Oh no, it's Secrets too. Wait, what? It's a character card, but is him a Secrets too? Okay. That's weird. And a uh, checklist. I hate checklists. Queen Warrior. He's fighting a crab. I, <laughs> I like crabs. <laughs> okay. Secrets 5. Frenzy the Fearless. High on meth. Decord. I think <laughs> Triangle likes that art. <laughs> Secret. What is this? Why are these guys called secrets when they have like body parts and stuff to hack off? I don't I don't get it. The gargantuan. Ian McKegg. Okay. What is this all about? I I don't know. I, I don't have time to Oh wait, Mark. Ian Mc okay. Is this the art like an artist card? Oh yeah, that's kinda cool. They were like signed. Uh yeah, I mean ah very old. Nineteen ninety three well, not old in card space. I mean I've if you have sports cards, you know what that means. But I mean, 1993, old for collectible card games. Um, ancient for collectible card games. Bangorian Knight. Peaceful Calm. What is going on here? What, what are they doing? Um, okay, why? What? Okay, what do these trading post cards do? Let's look at it. Okay. I, uh, you must also send a stamped self-addressed envelope. Okay, so I guess, what, do you just scratch off one and send it? I don't know. To, maybe it's for trying to um, claim those, um, what do you call it, uh, the gold border to the, or the silver border. And I don't even know what the um, odds were when you sent those in. Xena, Nightshade. Why do they do this to me? Eric the Repentant. Having a bad time. Lord Vengeance. Van Gorian Knight again. Venga the Grim. And uh, there's, I think, it's 100, uh, the 139 base cards are eight treasures, and ooh, I think only a, like 15 or 20 of some other kind of card, and. So I think I think the US version has about 160 cards. Do you know the Aquil? Is it now? What is this? I I have no idea. I have no idea. Yard games. Throw your cards against the wall. Watch them become uh oh, it's stuck. PSA ones. Dark Warrior. Rings of Harakbar. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know. Zetonian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, what? Look at that face. When you walk downtown and you know, some of the bums are on stuff, they sometimes look at you like that. Karanga! Secrets 5. What, what is this for real? A pal? And, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have time, but look, you got like to solve that. That's that's too much. Come on. Gargantuan. Aragon? True blade. Well, I kind of see why. I think I've already said it. That why people uh, <laughs> went why magic is still around and why uh, we're not collecting uh, Fallout battle cards and Lord of the Rings battle cards and um, the battle cards, uh, you know, whatever magic set it's on. Hellhound. Elphys and Wilberforce, what? Magic Shield. Advanced combat. This guy again. 
this guy again this this guy again okay I I think I pulled okay this guy's name Les Edwards why I don't know I don't know pause it read it I have no idea I'm sorry yeah these packs suck they're hard, kind of hard to open and they're see-through too so Iron Scale. Advanced Com... Oh, shoot. Look at that. He yeah. Uh, that's not good. Uni! <laughs> it's Crud and Gore. Secrets 3. I don't have that. Fire Breather. Ice Dragon. Bone Scratcher. Man at Arms, not the guy from uh, He-Man. I hated that guy. I hate He-Man. I never liked the cartoon. I'm sorry if you guys liked it, but I just never... No. No. Don't like it. <sighs> Come on. I cannot open these packs. I want to use the scissors because it'll give you a lot of room in here. I should have really... What's wrong with me? I should have opened these beforehand. Kind of, yeah, they're minty though. What is this? Curse Witch Quest. Looks like, um, what's that? Do the show 90s? Peter Andrew Jones. Okay. Who is <laughs> Peter Andrew Jones? Um, the Crypt Keeper. That's what I'm trying to think of. Advanced Combat. Oh, this guy's, yeah, it's, it's over. Shield Dissolve. Boris the Brave, okay. Prince. Main heart. What the hell's going on over there? Bloodsuckers. Spine Slayer. And Secrets 3. Uh it doesn't look like the cards lost any of the foil on their on the attack thingies. From being rubbed together and all that, but yeah, this is a pretty cheap set. You could buy probably the whole set for like ten to fifteen bucks, and then you could buy um, the cart, the boxes for about twenty to twenty-five. So pretty cheap, cheap opening. I'm only opening twelve. I think that's all my sanity will allow me to. Why am I getting the same thing? Terry Oaks. Terry Oaks. How do they get their own card like that? Artist card. I got to read those later. That's kind of cool if uh, the artists get their own card. What would have been really cool? Warren Devils. If uh, they got to sign them. I wonder if they're even still around, those guys. I mean, it's not like it's 60 years ago, but I mean, it's a long time. I don't like this. I don't like what's going on there. Here's Boris again. Dissolve that shield. Brave Boris. Prince Lionheart again. Okay, these are all bloodsuckers. Like the eighth time I got that card. Spine Slayer again. Now we know the collation. Peaceful Calm. And now I'm over it. I'm over opening these. I cannot open these. Jeez. They're not foil. They're not um, more like a paper. They're, you can almost see through them. Which is, yeah. Treasure Quest. The Iron Maiden. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> can I can I show this on YouTube? I don't know. Barbarian. Just just bar Barbarian. Hill Goblin. Okay, these are new cards. The face. Horos Soga. Another advanced combat. This guy's just getting chewed up. There's a Vangor. 
Okay. The Princess Suitor. The Iron Maiden again. This this is going to be the thumbnail right right there. A couple more. I'm sorry. Our ordeal is almost over. God, I, I really should open packs before I try the video, huh? Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. It, this card's stuck. Okay. Obojo with the Cruel. Advance. Another advance. Jeez. Gino. Yard Games. Dark Warrior. Rings of Harak Bar. I'm gonna throw these against the wall. Like uh and this this card of course too. Stalite. Treasure Quest. What are these supposed to do? Send all four different cards showing the new owners of the wondrous treasures plus this quest card. You must also send a stamped self addressed envelope. Your cards will be returned but will be marked with a seal and may not be used again in this quest. The offer is available in the USA and Canada. Okay. You know what? It'd be kind of cool to. Uh, I'm going to look up and see what they look like, what the treasure cards are. I think. Yeah. I cannot. Why? Is Merlin even around anymore? Well, I know Topps was making soccer cards with under the Merlin brand, but I don't know if they just resurrected the brand or if it's, it was always around. Campaign. Playing cards. Probably playing a more valuable card game. Secrets. And only two years later, Star Wars CCG would come out. My favorite. John the Agreeable. <laughs> okay. It's those weird guys. Yeah. I don't know what those are. Card. <laughs> okay. Card games. Is that how. <laughs> Is that how people play? There's no. Uh, there's no sleeves or anything. That's no play mat. See, I got a red play mat. I used to use a subway play mat. Remember that? What the hell? J oh my God. Jora Munga. I, I, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Crown of Angor. And is that, does that mean something? Cause it's gold and it's got, so you have to figure out what that, I'm not going to figure that out. I'm not smart enough. Okay. That's it. Sorry.